Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Beer and Watchers. Now on today's episode, we are going to be taking a tour around the craft beer world and we're going to be looking at three beers, one from Germany, one from Japan and one from Singapore. So, times are ticking, let's get stuck in. Hey guys, happy Friday and hope you are all ready for the weekend. Now today is a little bit of a different spot in our home. Now first of all, if you look out the window there, it looks like it's just a wide out blizzard. It's actually not, it's because the contrast I guess on the camera is trying to focus on me and focus on that and it can't. So anyway, you can see me and that's the most important thing, right? Now it's almost the weekend and you know, I always love to have a good crisp fresh beer on the weekend. So I thought what we'd do today is we'd leave the watchers alone for an episode and we'd take a look at three beers from around the world and give you my review. Now the first one is from Germany, the second one is from Japan and the third one is originally from Singapore. Now our first beer here is from the Fung Starter, I hope I said that right, Es ist ein schöner Tag, das gut ja, danke schön. <laughs> Kartoffel. <laughs> that means potato in German, I don't know why I said that, but all my German viewers out there and subscribers you're welcome. All right, so we're going to take a look at this. Fungstarter is a brewery in Germany, and this is Hell Beer. Hell actually means light in German, so it's a light beer. Now, what can I tell you about the Fungstarter brewery in Germany? Well, first of all, it's one of only a handful of still family-run breweries in Germany. Started in 1831 by Justus Hildebrand, it is actually ranked within the top 80 of 1400 breweries in Germany. Now that's pretty impressive. It's also in the top 25 export, export? <laughs> export breweries in Germany that exports around the world. It's available at about 2500 bars and restaurants around Germany and about 1,500 supermarkets. So it's certainly very, very popular. They brew classic beers, wheat beers, Radler shandies, specialty beers, and even, get this, soft drinks. A brewery that brews soft drinks. Pretty crazy. The website where these beers are available, or if you want to learn more about the Fungstarter Brewery, is right here, fungstarter.de. You can go there and check out all their beer lines and soft drink lines. Now, as I said, Hell literally translates in German to light or bright and golden, which is certainly what this beer is supposed to be. It's a Bavarian style lager. It has an alcohol content level of 4.9%, and it's supposed to be a light beer with a smooth finish and balanced molten hops. All that being said, let's crack it and stack it. Didn't explode. That's always a good thing. Oh, I can already smell it, actually. Almost there, guys. We don't want to waste a single drop, right? And that is a good pour. Now, first of all, I can tell you this. As I was pouring it, I kind of got a, a, an aroma of the yeast. It kind of smells like, um, yeah, it kind of smells like yeast, like bread. I can smell that in there. Uh, it's very distinctive. It's got a good kind of light golden color, as the name would suggest. The carbonation rises pretty quickly from the bottom to the top. So let's give this a try. That's interesting. It's definitely got more body to it than a, uh, a regular lager. When I say a regular lager, I'm talking like, I don't know, uh, a Coors, a Budweiser, a Kokanee, you know, something like that, Foster's. It's got a bit more body to it than that. Again, I'm getting the yeast, kind of an, a bready smell. It's a good beer for a warm summer's day, but this is not one of those beers that you're going to crack and just guzzle. It's certainly not a stout or an ale, but it's definitely got some more body to it. Beers from mainland Europe tend to be a little bit kind of stronger. Anyway, there it is. That is the Hell Beer from Funkstarter. So you can check out all their beers at their website right here. Now, let's move on to our second beer on our world beer tour here, Asahi brewed and canned in Tokyo, Japan. Now, before we actually review the beer and crack it, I actually used to live in Japan. I was a magician because if you don't know, that is actually my full-time profession. So you can go on YouTube, type in Matt Johnson. Uh, you might want to type like BGT for Britain's Got Talent or The World's Best or uh, Late Late Show with James Corden. I've been on all these shows, Penn and Teller Foolers, and uh, you'll see my video. So, 
there you go. I digress. I spent some time in Japan. I actually lived there for about two years, back in 1996 to 1998, and I lived in Nagoya, Japan, and I used to do magic there. So, there you go. Anyway, Asahi was one of the beers that was available in Japan, and the crazy thing is, in Japan, you can literally go out on the street and buy this beer from a vending machine, which is kind of crazy. How do they stop kids buying beer? It's weird. Anyway, you can literally buy anything from a vending machine in Japan. Um, books, magazines, cigarettes, beer, chocolate, uh, cold and hot coffee, all kinds of stuff. And so we're going to give this a try now. As I say, it's canned and brewed in Tokyo, Japan, still to this day. It was actually founded in 1889 in Osaka and was originally called the Osaka Beer Company. Now today, Asahi don't just produce the super dry beer, they produce a lot of different beers, including Asahi Draft, Asahi Gold, Asahi Stout, Asahi Z. Wow, this is a bit of a tongue twister. Yeah, asahi, asahi, asahi. You know, if you say it a lot, it sounds weird. Now, when Asahi Super Dry was launched in 1987, it literally transformed the Japanese beer industry overnight. It's got a 5% alcohol volume and it's rated as Japan's number one beer. Now, if you want to check them out and check out their entire beer line, you can go to asahisuperdry.com and I'll also put links to all of these websites in the description below this video. Now Asahi export their beer from Japan all over the world and you haven't got to go very far to pick up Asahi beer. Now all that being said, let's crack it and stack it. Ah, maybe that's why it's called Asahi. Asahi. All right, we're giving it a good pour here. It's got a good head on it already. We're going to slow that down a little bit so we don't over pour from the glass. Now, it's interesting. If you look at this one, I can already tell that the color of this, and I've poured this way too vigorously, and I'm getting a rather large head on the beer there. Shame on me. We'll let that settle down a bit. Now, as that's settling down, if we take a look at the Hell beer from Germany and the Asahi beer, that the Asahi beer has a lot more carbonation than this one. The carbonation's rising a lot faster from the bottom to the top. Now, I know this one has settled down already, but the carbonation in the Hell beer was a lot less than the carbonation in the Asahi. This one's really going fast from the bottom to the top. There's a lot of carbonation in there. This one has got more, um, there's more sediment in there, got kind of more of an opaque gold color to it, whereas this one, crystal clear, not a lot of sediment in there from what I can see, a very, very golden crisp color. This one definitely looks heavier, and this one looks a lot lighter and drier, which is probably why, if you remember, I said that this one did have kind of a more mature hoppier kind of heavier taste to it. It's been a long time since I've had this. I have had it. I've lived in Canada now for 20, 22 years. Wow, that's gone quick. Bottoms up and let's give it a try. Super dry. It's a very light beer. It's super, super dry. A little more hoppier than, again, a light beer like Kokanee or Budweiser, North American beer. Uh, but very crisp, very dry. This will go down really well on a hot summer's day. Because it's super dry, it's not something that you're just going to pound back. You're going to kind of savor it a little bit, kind of enjoy it, you know. It's a mature, mature lager for sure. So there it is, Asahi beer from uh, Tokyo, Japan. Watashi no name wa Matt Johnson Tomoshimasu to imakara watch and beer review videos. Omese shimasu. Arigato. If any of my subscribers are from Japan, I'd love to hear from you guys. I had a great time there. I miss it very much. All that being said, let's move on to our third and final beer on our world beer tour here. The last one here is the Tiger beer brand from Singapore. It's now brewed in 11 countries around the world. Originally, it was brewed and founded in Singapore in 1932. Now it's owned by the Heineken Asia Pacific Group. And as I said, it's brewed in 11 countries and available in over 60 countries through export. The ingredients on this include rice, malt, barley, and American Zeus hops, which sounds very, very cool, doesn't it? American Zeus hops. I only drink my beer with American Zeus hops. The color of this is clear and golden. The aroma is corn malt, 
with citrus and apparently a faint hint of clove. So we're going to see if we get that when we pour the beer. By the way, I've never actually tried Tiger beer. I'm expecting this to be one of those beers that I would probably drink a lot of on a hot summer day. And while the aftertaste is supposed to be short-lived, it is apparently very, very refreshing. It's available worldwide. It comes in a 500 milliliter tall boy can, and this one comes in at 5% alcohol volume. So let's crack it and stack it. Right, here it goes. It's pouring good. I'm not getting much of a head on this one as I pour, so it doesn't seem to have tons of carbonation in there. Certainly not as much as the other beers, and uh, didn't have to wait for the head to simmer down. So there it is, Tiger Beer, originally from Singapore. There's not a lot of carbonation in there from what I can see. It's moving, I would say, slow to medium from the bottom to the top, but compared to the Asahi beer, which was poured a while ago, and if you take a look at this, you can still see the Asahi beer has a lot of carbonation, still moving really, really fast from the bottom to the top, whereas the Tiger beer, barely any at all. We're gonna try this right now. Again, compared to the Hell beer from Germany, this one's got kind of a, I guess I'd describe it as a murky color, whereas this one is like a crystal clear, not a lot going on in there. I expect this to just be basically like alcoholic hoppy water but we'll see let's give it a try it's good but there ain't nothing going on in there <laughs> the um, aftertaste is short-lived I don't get a lot it just tastes like malty kind of well it doesn't even taste malty and hoppy it basically tastes like um, alcoholic beer flavored water I guess I'm not saying I don't like it but it doesn't have a lot going on there's a little bit of clove I guess a little bit citrus little bit. That's not my favorite. I have to be honest. Sorry, Tiger Beer. So out of these three beers, I would say my favorite one is the Asahi for sure. It's super dry. It's crisp. It's got a lot of carbonation. A really, really good beer. My second favorite beer is going to be the Hell Beer from Germany, which is a very close uh, second to the Asahi. And then finally, the one over here that looks like golden water, basically the Tiger Beer. Uh, 5%, but not the greatest beer I've ever tried. So there you have it, my friends. That's my little world beer tour for the day. We went from Germany to Japan and then over to Singapore. I hope you enjoyed today's look at these beers. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend. Maybe head on over to your local liquor store, pick up a couple of these beers and enjoy them over the weekend. If you enjoyed my channel, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and a comment in the comment section below. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe link to the right of the uh, screen here and the bell button up to the right of the search bar so you don't miss any of my videos three times a week. Finally, we've got another video for you. So if you didn't see it, click on this video right here. And don't forget to click on the beer and watch icon right here. From Canada, cheers and bye for now. <laughs>